I'm Pam Seidel in Brampton. We are continuing our investigation into problems at Ontario's drive test centers. City News has received numerous complaints about enormous wait times of four and five hours simply to take the written test and a computer system that continually crashes so that you can't book a road test. Well, today we hear from a former employee and the union that represents the workers here and get their perspective on why this is happening. Today was bad. I came in at eight. 10, I was in the line and the line was behind the building and um, I went in there and I was waiting and now I get out after doing my uh, written test renewal. So that's five, five hours? Yes. This is footage sent to us recently by a driver instructor that shows just how long the lineups can be. Insiders say there are multiple problems causing the delays. From what I'm being told, the computer systems are worse. They're crashing now more than ever. This woman on the phone doesn't want to be identified. She worked for Circo Canada, the company that has been contracted by Ontario's Ministry of Transportation to run the drive test centres for four years. She keeps in touch with current employees. She says the problem is a glitchy computer system, too few supervisors, a lack of adequate equipment and training. And those people would come into the centre for a day or two days um, and train two people on these systems and then those two people in our respective centres were responsible for training the rest of us. So people who basically had two days you know, practical training were then responsible for training all of us. So that's not necessarily their expertise is in training and also with troubleshooting problems. Kevin Stewart works for the United Steelworkers Union, which represents the drive test workers. He says staff is as frustrated as the public, especially now that Serco has begun to lay off and reduce hours. I'm confused just like you are in terms of why I'm getting layoff notices now and why I'm getting reports that hours being reduced. It makes no sense. If there is an acknowledgement that the wait times are above and beyond, it should be all hands on deck. Yeah. Reducing hours and laying off people is the wrong thing to do. Everyone seems to agree the MTO needs to intervene and deal with these issues. Even the Transportation Minister, Stephen Del Duca, says the status quo is unacceptable. For me to hear, as I have now repeatedly, that the level of performance isn't what I believe it should be troubles me. I think there is a problem. I think we have to take a look at it. And I've asked the ministry to do some additional work on this and let me know not only what the problems are, but how we can work together to solving them. Because it's not exactly a new problem either, Minister. Like no, I, I've heard true. about this at least a year ago. That's yeah, true. I've heard as well. Uh, and so I can understand that there's impatience out there and frustration, so I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. Included in Serco's contract is an obligation to meet mandated service times. If it doesn't, the company can be fined. The minister couldn't say how much Serco has had to pay out, but says he'll find that out too. Minister Del Duca says he has requested this information urgently and says he hopes to have some answers in days or perhaps weeks. In Brampton, I'm Pam Seidel, City News.